Hello, Avar Canvas. It's Tony. So, the last video I showed you should have been about me starting sewing, and I like showed you guys a lot of fabrics and stuff like that that I had been working. Well, I had been kind of like fiddling with and playing with and stuff like that. So, I decided to go ahead and um, there's this event that I wanted to kind of participate in and vend and so i decided to get started on making things and i knew that i wanted an upcycle angle for, for it so i decided to just go ahead and do that and get stuff from like goodwill and things like that the sad thing is when my grandmother died she had so many clothes that we ended up throwing away well not throwing away but donating and i'm like we could have just kept those because i kind of felt like i knew i was going to be uh making clothes or getting into fashion sewing in some capacity but like there was just so many clothes and we got rid of like basically everything which is a shame because it's so many fabrics that i could have used um, in the future and I wouldn't have had to buy anything really I don't think um, but yeah so I went to Goodwill and um, bought some things some items do I feel like Goodwill is, is expensive kinda depending on what you get but is whatever um, I still bought them, so they obviously weren't that high to me that <laughs> I didn't buy them. Anyway, um, and I'm talking about like, like double digits is what I'm saying. Not like a shirt that's like three ninety nine. I'm talking about like something that's like ten, twelve dollars, and I'm just like, hmm. Something in here was like twenty dollars too, but I think the discount brought it down. So I think the discount was at least thirty ish percent. Um, yeah, like roughly 30 ish percent based on what I like calculated in my mind. I could be off, I was never a mathematician anyway. So, the first thing I got, and I haven't washed it or anything, these are like straight from there. Um, is the skirt that's not so I didn't get things that were my size because I'm not trying to upcycle and make clothes for myself, I'm trying to make them for like the you know actual <laughs> you know uh shop so um skirt from evan picon Pacon, i don't know the cool thing about this is i actually am gonna get into like let me just push this back i'm gonna get into kind of like different brands and the quality of fabric for each brand um and so this is just like a skirt. It's not like completely A-line, I don't think, but this is the back. Now the cool thing for this is that I have a fashion showcase that's coming up and I talked to the instructor and I was like, see, this is the one that was $20. Um, I talked to the instructor and she was like, well, you can upcycle things, but you can't just like buy them and then just like send them on the runway. You have to like have modified them in some way. So I was like, okay, let me think about this, right? In a way. And I have a design of a skirt with like pleating. I had it in the bag, but that's kind of awkward around your butt, right? So it might be in the front but then I'm thinking about like should I even <laughs> should I even have this like as a regular skirt or should I just trim it and then like do some interesting like pleating at the bottom or something like that I'm considering whether or not and then also I don't know the size of the models for my um, stuff because I don't have people that are like volunteering to model for my sh like my showcase so I have to kind of know what they what their um, what their size is well I got this skirt I'm I'm really thinking about it modifying it in some way I think making it like a shorter I don't know it seems kind of sad to like modify it but I'm kind of like also intrigued by like putting pleating or something interesting I don't know I don't even know next is this skirt 
that I had considered making a purse, right? Like it's just like a flare purse. And then under here would be like the shorts and stuff like that. And then like kind of like take this part out, put like a bottom in there and then make this like a purse. Cause I mean, people wear purses this size, right? And it would be pretty deep as a purse as a purse it would be kind of like a, a soft inside like a canvas bag or something like that um because i can't make no damn purse from scratch but making it a like yeah the pleating the other option i had was i was thinking about no lie cutting this part keeping the pleating and then adding another layer of pleating over it or taking it apart and having like sewing a strip having a little bit of pleating and because you have so much of it um using it on something like a skirt or something like a vest and that way i don't have to like worry too much i don't know so this is cool i got two t-shirts because i just want to put some symbols on them like I have some swirls that I just want to put on. I consider like doing something kind of like special with this. This is a t-shirt so it's a very weird. I have a shirt on that's kind of like this where the neckline isn't like I guess stable so to speak. It's not like ultra defined right. There's not like a bunch of details here. There's not a bunch of sewing here but it's a nice print. And you can see see it I consider taking off the sleeves and adding something else I might still take the sleeves off because to be honest what are they being saved for like let's be real like this is the sleeve right here like you could just literally just take the shit off so I might do that and then I have a bandana that I cut out I'm gonna cut out a swirl and I might attach that let me show you what the bandana look like hold on okay these are the bandanas. So I got these at Hobby Lobby. So I would use this one probably. Cut out a swirl. Right, I started like, I used my little fashion chalk on the others, on the opposite side to draw like little lines. And so I might make like a really big swirl, put it on the back, or I made smaller swirls around here <laughs> and like sew it to the front or something like that. And then, go with that I feel like brown would work a little bit better though than this so I don't know if there's brown there might be brown ones there might be brown um bandanas at Hobby Lobby hopefully there are because this may not be the color for that you know brown I feel like would make more sense with this now I have this black one with red detailing but that obviously that doesn't I don't feel like that go but if I wanted to I could make sleeves like if I get these two they they're really thin though I'm not gonna lie these are really thin really thin you can see as you can see right really thin when you lay it over it's not so bad but get these and make these sleeves for shirts so I could take this apart it would be a totally different thickness because this is pretty thick and stretchy but make this this a sleeve for this and kind of make the you know pattern and stuff like that so I'm considering these things so I got these two shirts if not I might just like I said make swirls and cut these out and then like place it on the front and call it a day the only thing is you know like i'm from the u.s so i'm kind of like traumatized with like the bandanas because i know that was like a thing for like you know uh, <clears throat> illicit activities at one point and so it's <laughs> still to this day but like definitely like i feel like the 70s 80s and 90s early 2000s was like if you were doing this you was repping stuff and like <laughs> i'm always like fearful and then i see like a lot of people like making gingham dresses and stuff like that and i get it but it's just like i don't know the context is like so different for where i live 
and what I've been through. <laughs> anyway, so these are the two shirts that I got. So there's that. Lastly, lastly, these are men's shirts. I got them because I wanted to use them for fabric. I don't know if I want to use them for sleeves or not, but this is one. This is a shorter sleeved one. So I ain't never heard of this brand, American Speedheart. I don't know. But there's this. Then this one, I got it because I like the yellow. So I got this. Ralph Lauren. So there's that. These, two of these were like $11. I'm like, y'all kidding me here. Oh, I did get another, I got another skirt. So I'll show that to you. And then this is a shirt. So yeah. So I'm gonna go put these in the washing machine and then kind of see what I want to do with them. Um, we'll kind of have to figure it out, but yeah, that's something I'm interested in. And then lastly, I got the skirt. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see this immediately as like a tank or something like that. Like, uh, you know, in line where you see those like corsets and stuff like that, this is like the perfect material for that. It's like a really good material. So it's like nice. So I'll probably just cut the front out. The back would be like black I think or like some other like color that I feel would work and then just make it like a tank or something like that I could use a bodice design and um, yeah I feel like I could do a bodice pattern and um, work on that okay Thanks for watching, guys, at all the fabrics that I have got from Goodwill uh, via Shopping for Clothing. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.